Hello, this is Ike from Spot Home London and today we've got a very spectacular two bedroom flat to see. Now we're in North London and we are right by Alexandra Palace. So that's going to have railway services and the station is only going to be about a nine minute walk away. Excellent if you want to get to London, central London that is, and get to somewhere such as Moorgate in about 30 minutes. Now, as for the area, we'll see that it's quite residential as we've got plenty of homes around. However, as we head towards the station, we'll see lots of cafes, bakeries, laundrettes and such. So with that said, we're going to be seeing both rooms today. So let's go ahead and see the whole flat. So here is the entrance. As we can see, we've got a living room here. So that's going to be the first thing as we enter the front door. So to the right, we'll see that we'll have the bay windows that overlook the street. So we're going to go and see that right now. So that's outside. And then from here, we can also see we've got the couch. And opposite that, we'll have the TV, as well as some shelving here built in to the wall. Behind the couch, we can see we've got some space with the chest of drawers. So just a quick look outside of the front door as well. We'll have a hallway that leads to the front door. Oh, sorry. So there would be the front door, and then to the right we've got access to another flat. So we've seen the living room, and then next will be the kitchen. So that's going to be through here. And in the kitchen we've got a very charming design. You can see we've got shelving here, a few ornaments, the books. And then as for the appliances and the practicality of this kitchen, excuse me, practicality. You can see we've got plenty of appliances behind some of these doors. So here we've got the fridge and freezer. On the countertop, you can see we've got the toaster, kettle and microwave. So here's the kettle, toaster and microwave. Cupboard up above for any food. We've got the tea and sugar there. Here we've got the oven and stove in the center. Put the oven down here. The stove is up top, and we've got the extractor above that. And then on this side, we've got the sink, as well as dishwasher. And access to the garden. So one last look at the kitchen. Now we can quickly see the garden before we see the remainder of the flat. So as we come out here, we can see we've got the four chairs and table in the center. And if we take a step in and look at the rear of the flat, we can see we've got a window that has access to bedroom number one. So we can see bedroom one through there. And then below the window, we also do have a bench. So, with that said, we can go and see the bedrooms now, as well as the bathroom. So that's going to be through here. So now as we move further into the flat, we'll see that through this store we have just a washing machine there. There, if we can read that. And then, as for down this corridor, we can see we've got two bedrooms at the end, and then here to the right, we've got the bathroom. So, now this door is going to be a locked door, which maybe has the landlord's belongings in there, so we won't be going in there. So, now here in the bathroom, we can see we've got a tiled floor, the bathtub is at the end, and then here to the right, we've got the toilet as well as some space for any products in the bathroom here. We've got space to dry your towels on the radiator and then above the sink we can see we've got the mirrors which are in fact doors and behind them we can see we've got a few shelves. So that's the bathroom. And finally, at the end of 
the flat here we've got the two rooms. So now in this room, this will be labelled bedroom number two. This room we've got the bed here to the right. In front we have closet space with the water heater inside so there won't be too much space in there but you can see we've got a small shelf down below. We've got a window that overlooks the pathway to the garden. And then for storage we can see we've got a standalone wardrobe right here. So as we open it we can see we've got space inside for any clothes and then two drawers down below. So here's the room from this angle. And finally we've got bedroom number one. So in this room we have the hardwood floor unlike the corridor which has the tiles and in this room we've got carpeted floors. So this room is slightly bigger than the room we've just seen. We'll have the bed here to the right as well and in the far corner we can see we've got a very large standalone wardrobe and in front we've got the chest of drawers there. So we've also got a mirror above that and then a lovely big window that overlooks the garden there. So that's going to let in quite a lot of light got the radiator down below for heating and then here is the room from this side so now the doors to the wardrobe slide so inside will look like that on the left and on the right it will look like this so that's the wardrobe. Let's get one last look from this corner as well. And that will conclude it for this tour. So, for more information, make sure to check out spotone.com. Bye bye.